So we talked about dedicated instances and hosts a little bit, but let's just make that distinction very clear. So dedicated hosts are single tenant EC2 instances designed to let you bring your own license, so BYOL, based on machine characteristics. And so we'll compare the uh, dedicated instance to the dedicated host across isolation, billing, uh, physical characteristics, visibility, affinity between a host and instance, targeted instance placement, automatic instance placement, and add capacity using allocation request. So for isolation, for dedicated instance, you're gonna get instance isolation. So you can have the same customer on the same physical machine, but there is virtualization there for them. And there's a guarantee of that. Um, for a dedicated host, you have physical server isolation. So you get the whole server for billing uh, on a dedicated instance, it's per instance billing, and it's gonna have an additional fee of $2 per region. And for dedicated hosts, it's per host billing. So it's a lot more expensive, but you get the whole machine. Uh, for visibility of physical characteristics, you're not going to get any of that information for a dedicated instance. For a dedicated host, you are, such as Socket's core host, host ID. And this is really important when you have a bring your own license and they're saying this license is for X amount of cores or X amount of sockets. Uh, then we have affinity. So there's no affinity for a dedicated instance. For a dedicated host, you'll have consistency with deploys to the same instance to the same physical server. Uh, there's no control of target ins instance placement for dedicated instance. You do have control on a dedicated host. For auto automatic instance placements, you have it for both. And to add capacity using allocation requests, it's a no for dedicated instance, and it's a yes for dedicated host. So I want to come back to the main point that's what's highlighted here is that on a dedicated host, you have visibility of sockets core host ID. And this is really, really important when you're bringing your own license BYOL, such as um, you know Microsoft SQL servers where you have to specify the amount of cores and things like that, okay?